Today, we're diving into the exciting world of Grand Theft Auto 6. Have you ever wondered if the cars in GTA 6 are real? Stick around as we explore this fascinating topic. Did you know that cars in GTA games have changed a lot since the first game? It's like watching a tiny tree grow into a big one over many years. In GTA 6, the cars look super cool and different from the older games. The people who make the game have worked hard to make the cars better each time. They think about what players like you and me would enjoy and use their imagination to make it happen. In GTA 6, you can make your car look just the way you want. It's like having a toy car and lots of stickers and paint to decorate it. You can change the color, add cool stripes, or even make it go faster. This makes playing the game even more fun because you can have a car that's just for you. In GTA 6, most of the cars are made up. They look like real ones, but have made up names and designs to avoid any legal problems. See, when you play GTA 6 and hop into a sleek looking ride, it might remind you of a real car you've seen before, but it's like a cool disguise. The game creators change things up a bit so they don't get into trouble with the real car companies. It's like having a superhero car in disguise. Lots of gamers are curious if GTA 6 will have real cars. They want the game to feel more like real life, especially when it comes to driving cool cars. Think about it like this. When you play a game, you want it to be as awesome as possible, right? Well, having real cars in GTA 6 could make it feel even more realistic and exciting. It's like being in your own action movie, driving around in cars you've seen on the streets. Getting permission to use real cars in the game is hard. It costs a lot of money, and the game developers need to make sure they don't upset the car companies. Imagine you're making a cake, and you want to use the fanciest chocolate in the world. You have to ask permission from the chocolate company, and sometimes they say no, or they want a lot of money in return. It's kind of like that with real cars in GTA 6. The game developers have to ask permission from the car companies, and sometimes it's just too tricky or expensive. The people who make GTA games like to create their own cars. It lets them be more creative, and they don't have to worry about breaking any rules. Imagine you're an artist and you have a blank canvas. You can paint whatever you want. That's what it's like for the game developers. They have the freedom to design cars that fit perfectly into the GTA world. Plus, it's fun for them to come up with crazy designs and see how players react to them. So even though some players might want real cars, the game developers enjoy making their own unique rides. Using real cars in a game can be really pricey even for Rockstar because the game developers have to ask permission from car companies, and those companies often ask for a lot of money. The amount they ask for can change depending on how popular the car brand is and what kind of deal they make with the game developers. Sometimes, they even ask for money for every copy of the game sold. But if a game is expected to be really popular, or if it shows the cars in a really cool way, some car companies might lower their fees, or even let the game use their cars for free. They see it as a good way to show off their cars to lots of people. However, the car companies want to make sure their cars look good in the game, so they get the final say on how they're shown. Because it's expensive and complicated to use real cars, many game developers choose to make their own pretend cars instead. This way, they don't have to deal with all the costs and rules that come with using real cars. Also, some car companies might not want their cars to be used in a game where they're doing illegal stuff, like stealing or blowing things up. They're worried about their brand looking bad, so they might say no to having their cars in the game. Car designs can be protected by law, meaning that if a game includes a car that looks too much like a real one, it could be breaking the rules, even if it doesn't have the logo on it. This is because people might see the car and think it's the real deal. Car companies really care about how their brand looks, so they might not want their cars in a game where they're doing illegal stuff, like street racing or being used for criminal missions. They're worried it could make them look bad or like they support those things. Also, using real cars in a game could break the right of publicity, which means the car manufacturers have the right to control how their cars are used commercially. They might not want their cars in a game if they can't control how they're shown. Getting permission to use real cars in a game involves a lot of talking and negotiating with each car company. It's a long and complicated process, 
because they have to agree on how the cars will be used and shown in the game. Because of all these legal problems, it's easier for game developers to just make up their own cars that look kind of like real ones, but are different enough to not cause any legal issues. This way, they can still make the game fun and funny without worrying about breaking any rules. The game developers prefer to create their own cars. This gives them the freedom to design unique vehicles that fit the game's world without worrying about following real-world designs too closely. Making their own cars lets game developers be really creative and come up with new ideas. They can make cars that fit perfectly into the game's world, like futuristic cars or ones with really cool features that you wouldn't see in real life. By making their own cars, developers don't have to worry about getting permission from real car companies or breaking any rules. This means they can focus on making the game without any legal headaches. They can also make the cars in the game do special things that real cars can't do, like doing crazy stunts or surviving big challenges in the game. GTA games like to make fun of real-life stuff, and making their own car brands lets them make jokes about real car companies and how people feel about cars and buying stuff. Having unique cars in the game makes it more fun for players. They like finding and collecting these special cars, which adds to the excitement of playing the game. There's been a lot of talk and rumors about GTA 6 having real cars, but nothing's been confirmed yet. Until then, we'll just have to wait and see. Imagine you're waiting for your birthday present. You've heard rumors about what it could be, but you won't know for sure until you unwrap it. That's how it is with GTA 6 and real cars. Some people say they've seen leaked pictures or heard whispers about real cars being in the game, but until the game developers officially say so, it's all just speculation. So for now, we'll have to keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll be cruising around GTA 6 in real cars, feeling like rock stars. So, are the cars in GTA 6 real? Right now, it's a mystery. But no matter what, we're sure the game will be loads of fun. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming content.